Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to walk us through just the basics of recording, basically setting up your microphone and a couple of the controls for recording. So the first thing I want to do now that I'm in a blank project is click add new track, say voice and microphones. And so now I've added that track and we can see it right here. Uh, I could label it. So I might label this Mr. Han and now before I'm ready to record, I have to make sure that Soundtrap is listening to the correct microphone. So to do that, I click this button right here, or this, this menu. In case you don't see this, in case you see something like this, come over here to this little microphone button, click that, and that will show the instrument, or show the microphone. So now if I click on this, this will show me all my different options. Normally you'll just be using your built-in microphone, but I'm gonna go ahead and use my nice fancy snowball which is a USB microphone. And I'm almost ready to go, but I wanna be super sure that my volume and my levels are gonna be correct. So I can click this little button, which is my volume check. And I can say start test. And I'm just talking normally about how loud I'm gonna talk, testing one, two, three, and Soundtrap sets the level. Cool, good to go. And now I'm just gonna drag this back, come down here and click record. So now I'm ready to record. I'm gonna click the start recording button and it's gonna give me a count in. Keep in mind, it's not recording until that count in is done. As soon as it's done, you're off to the races. So here we go. Hey everyone, Mr. Han here. So we're gonna to take today and tomorrow to get comfortable with some basics of Soundtrap. We're gonna work with loops and voice recording. Make sure to check your projects page to join the projects that I've invited you to. And I hope you enjoy making music with loops and recording your voice. Send me a message in the chat window if you have any questions or just want to show off your new creation. And there we go. I've made my voice recording. I can see it right here. And I can click save. And now I'm ready to share that with my students.